Your child will soon be transferred to the Pediatric Intensive Care Unit, also called the PICU. We know this can be a scary time and we want to support you by keeping you as informed and prepared as possible. This video will help you know what to expect and to provide answers to some commonly asked questions. The PICU is where your child will be closely monitored until their condition improves. Your child's care may require special equipment, medications, and other treatments that can only be used in the PICU. Your PICU nurse will have fewer patients than other areas of the hospital. Fewer patients allow the nurse to spend more time providing the care needed to help your child's health improve. When your child arrives in the PICU, the team will first make sure they are medically stable. Then you will be asked to join your child in their room. There will be many sights and sounds. This includes a monitor, which shows you their heart rhythm, oxygen level, and blood pressure. There may also be pumps used to provide IV fluids and medications. Sometimes you may hear alarms. Please do not silence the monitors. They are in place to make sure your child stays safe. There is a team outside of your room who will respond appropriately when they go off. If a nurse does not come into the room shortly, you may contact a care team member by pressing the call button on the TV remote. You are welcome and encouraged to spend as much time with your child as possible. Legal guardians may be present 24 hours a day and will be required to wear a special wristband. If you leave the hospital, please ask our staff about parking discounts. Overnight stays may vary by location. If you do not have the option of sleeping in your child's room, you may request a sleep room. Sleep rooms are not guaranteed, but reserved on a first come, first serve basis. Please ask the care team about additional visitor guidelines, including siblings and age limits. There are certain times when legal guardians and visitors may not enter or exit the PICU. This most often occurs from 7 a.m. to 8 a.m. in the morning and 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. at night. By limiting entry and exit, our nurses can safely and privately transition care between shifts. We know it can be very stressful in the hospital. While your child is your top priority, it's okay to take moments for yourself. We encourage you to rest, eat, and step away if you feel comfortable doing so. There are various services available to you. Food and drinks are allowed in your child's room and can be purchased in the cafeteria or by ordering room service. Any remaining food may be discarded to help keep the area as clean as possible. Other hospital amenities you may find useful are the laundry room, coffee shop, gift shop, family library, and chapel. Talk with the care team or family experience liaison to learn more. Please ask for a family experience liaison for more information regarding parking, discounts, cafeteria, orientation to the floor, toiletries, and other needs. Although we do not know how long your child will be in the PICU, we will try to prepare you for the transition to the general care floor as your child's care plan advances. At the start of the hospital stay, you will see your child's care team take total care of your child. This may include diaper changes and mouth care. As your child gets ready to move from the PICU, we will ask you to take on some of these responsibilities, which will prepare you for moving to a regular room and then going home. We hope this video helps prepare you for your PICU stay. Please feel free to ask your care team for any additional questions. Thank you for trusting us with your child's care.